Kisoko Electric Coagulation has been a leader in the water treatment solutions industry for over 30 years. With over 100 systems across the world, Kisoko is currently treating many different types of water sources. Kisoko systems are designed with the end user in mind. Easy to operate touchscreen controls and power cabinets start the treatment process. With electrical coagulation, all the waste streams are combined into a central accumulation tank prior to treatment. The pH and conductivity are monitored and automatically adjusted prior to treatment to allow for the removal of the targeted constituents. pH is either adjusted using small amounts of concentrated acid and caustic or by using water collected in the production facilities process. Once the pH and conductivity are within the operational parameters, the treatment procedure begins. Untreated wastewater flows through a series of valves on Caselco's patented valve tree into one of two different types of reactor units. Caselco's SureFlow reactor is a fully enclosed unit specialized for lower flow operations. It is comprised of a series of horizontal electrodes that cause the EC reaction to occur. Caselco has many configurations of the SureFlow reactor to allow for varying wastewater sources as well as a variety of conductivity. Here we will take a sample from the valve tree of the untreated water, as well as the treated water from the reactor. In the treated sample, you will notice a collection of foam, as well as a change in color and the initial forming of flocculation. From the reactor, treated waters flow into the defoaming vessel. Here the waste is agitated to remove and degas the solids to allow the settling process to begin. As you can see from the sample, a thick flock has formed as the constituents begin to be removed from the water. From the defoaming vessel, the water flows into the flocculation vessel. Here in the flocculation vessel, the flock is agitated until it becomes thick and begins to fall to the bottom. In some situations where the initial flock caused by electrocoagulation is very fine, polymer or coagulant may be added to aid in the settling process. Flock in this tank is mixed until it is heavy enough to settle in the lower levels and move to the clarifier. The heavy flock flows into the beginning of the clarifier and begins to settle. As the treated water flows over the weirs, the remaining flock begins to settle to be removed at a later time. Periodically, a sludge pump will pull the settled flock from the bottom of the clarifier and store it into a cone bottom tank to allow for further settling. Once the sludge tank becomes full, the sludge is dewatered through a filtration device. In most cases, like this one, it is a plate and frame filter press. Solids formed by the electrocoagulation process in most cases are chemically inert and will pass most T clip leachate tests. As you can see in this example, Electrocoagulation has cleaned this wastewater to discharge requirements. Some of the benefits of electrocoagulation over traditional water treatment methods are lower operational cost, less sludge generation, chemically inert sludge, as well as a smaller plant footprint. For more information about how electrocoagulation could be used in your water treatment process, contact Caselco today at 361-594-3407 or at caselco.com.